Well, it is a beautiful fall day today. Colors are changing like crazy. I wanted to make a little video of the downs downstairs in our house. So that way anybody that hasn't seen it can see it a little bit. Upstairs is still upstairs is still unfinished, but I'm going to be working on that today. This is our pantry. This is our bathroom. Super small, but it works pretty well. And our bedroom. Pretty small closet. And then we have our laundry room. Hey puppies. Hey puppies. The dogs are sleeping inside because it's like 28 degrees outside. Isn't that right, puppies? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So let you outside. We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the bottom floor. Upstairs is still unfinished, of course. I'm gonna be working on framing all that today. Um, I'm gonna probably insert some photos of, of before, but for anybody that doesn't know, we, we bought an Amish property in Northern Kentucky, and the house was like, they had plywood walls and um, corrugated metal ceiling on the inside. And so we, we basically gutted the entire downstairs and uh, modernized it and gave it our farmhouse, our farmhouse touch. We really like it. It's, I mean, it, it's fun being able to put your own touch on your house and really make it yours. In the kitchen, we, we went ahead and did open shelving, really liked that look. We think it turned out pretty well. We still have things to do, like we gotta paint all the crown molding and the trim. You know, we gotta put some shelving there. Put some shelving right in there to fill the voids. Gotta put, we're gonna put like some potato sack curtains underneath the sinks. Oh, there's our Roomba going to work. <laughs> if you don't have a Roomba and you feel like spending, you know, seven hundred to a thousand dollars on a vacuum. Then uh, th they're they're awesome. Yesterday we just built this door. We still got to paint it, but we just used like all scrap wood that we had upstairs from demoing everything. Turned out pretty well. Works to keep the dogs in. At our last house, we we would keep the dogs like inside constantly, and the house would just be a mess. And so it's nice to be able to send them out during the day and then bring them back in at night when it's cold. In the summer, they just slept out in the barn because we have a kennel out there for them, but they're happier that way, we're happier that way. And they still get all the love they can. Hey puppies. Well, I got my beanie on. I got my warm gloves. It is freezing. But, I mean, still a beautiful day. That's what you get in Kentucky. Freezing cold, but it's beautiful. Morning, Bert. Morning, Penelope. I left their food in the house. I gotta go get that. That's what I needed. I took a week off from making videos because we had 
we had family in. If you watched the last video, you probably knew that, but we, uh, my mom, my grandma, my uncle, my cousin, my brother all here. We all had a super great time. We went to the Red River Gorge, um, to Natural Bridge. I'll probably insert some photos of that. We also went to Court Days, which is something we have pretty close to us. It's just in Preston, which is like a minute down the road. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. I guess it started out as like a like animal trade, fur trade type thing, and I think it's you know hundreds of years old. <clears throat> so basically, it's what it's turned into now is just a big, huge flea market. Um, it was it was a ton of fun. We spent tons of time. We, I think we went like three or four days to that and you get all the horrible fair food and all the cool flea market stuff that you can buy. It is cold. I need to fix that door. We also went to Waffle House, if anybody knows what that is. My brother was really wanting to go, <laughs> and then we we showed up and sat down, him, my mom, and I, and uh, they didn't have chicken and waffles for him, which is what he wanted, but I also saw that there was like three slices of that gross American cheese on hash browns, and we all kind of got up and decided to go to Cracker Barrel. He knows, he knows, he knows. Hey, buddy. We also went to a pumpkin patch that's in Owingsville, which is pretty neat. Represent Muddy Boots pumpkins. Best pumpkin patch in Washington. If you don't know it, you gotta check it out. It's in Duval, Muddy Boots pumpkins. They have like no pumpkin patches here. And the one we went to was super cool. I'll insert some photos of that too, but you couldn't actually like go and pick it. See, the joy of Muddy Boots Pumpkins in Washington is that you get to go like get a cart, you get to go pick your pumpkin out, you get to go do the corn maze, you get to take the photos. Uh, yeah, go check out Muddy Boots Pumpkins in Washington State, in Duval. It's the best place. Well, the cows need to be fed now, so. Let's go feed Buddy first. Hey, Buddy. I'm trying to get him to like me. He just thinks my hands are a bottle. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. He's not sure. 
sure. Does he like the pets or not? Let's go say hi to Rosie. We decided not to put the calves on her. She wasn't very happy. She needs to dry up soon anyway, and it's winter time, so we just decided we're just gonna bottle feed the calves, and then we'll wean them off in the next month or so. beautiful day we had about like a, a month of no rain and then I think like three days ago we finally got a downpour which is super nice definitely needed grass is coming back a little greener now but now it's like 28 degrees every day in the morning Now we've got to go feed the other calf. She, that, that was our Holstein and she's been super sick. She was, after our last video, she ended up like on the ground, didn't, didn't want to do anything. We're pretty sure that she got pneumonia. Next, I got to go to Lowe's get some tools and parts for upstairs so I can frame everything. Time to work on upstairs. For those of you wondering what the heck I'm doing, basically we're putting putting in a railing, a little pony wall right here and over. This wall is gonna get moved out flush with the stairs right there. But to make this pony wall really strong, basically I'm cutting the subfloor there and we're gonna screw this two by six up against up against this stud right here so that way it's nice and strong and when we when we go to you know lean on it it doesn't doesn't want to wobble so it'll make it a lot stronger Got the two by sixes in. Those things are sturdy. You can see what I did down there. Put two lag bolts in. It'll be nice and sturdy.
Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video. I have a big mess to clean up, but starting to get it framed out. We're moving the, there's a bedroom right here. We're moving this out so that way it's in line with the stairs and we're actually gonna move, the door's currently right there. We're gonna move it right here. Um, the top of our stairs is just so tight. You can see right now, as you open that door, you kind of step off the stairs and that's just, somebody's gonna hurt themselves, so. But. Still have a bunch more to frame out. Got to, we've got to move this wall out as well. It's off by just a couple inches. And then this is going to be our little storage room. Um, so we need to wall all this off, take everything else down. And then uh, we will start our ceiling joists around the whole thing. This is the master bedroom. Excuse all the mess. This is our storage for right now, but. This will be where the master bed is. And then right in here, you'll walk through the door. You have your closet space. And then we're gonna have a big soaker tub, vanity right here. And then our shower is gonna be right there. And then we'll have a door here into our toilet with some storage on the side. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.